Hello, this is TableFX demo. TableFX is a UI component library for JavaFX. The table, as you, the table control, as you can see here, is designed to display Java Bojo object. It has new cool feature, namely agile editing, that I will cover later in this video. This table has out of the box recognition capability, filtering, as well as sorting. This is the recognition control. To sort the data, click column header press shift and click the column header again to to sort on multiple columns to filter data right click a column we can select filter operator here click the filter button we can also filter on multiple columns To remove filter, right click the column again and click remove filter button or from table menu click remove all filters. We can change the amount of data displayed in the table in here. Let's try 10 and press enter. It displays 10 record. Now it displays 100 record. There are only one page. Now it is two pages. As you can see here, there is two editing mode, normal and agile. Let's see normal editing. Click plus button to add more rows. Press enter to start editing. Press enter again to commit edit. You can see that there is empty item here in combo box because this column is not required. Click save button. This data is saved to database. Usually it is in the last page. Let's see Agile editing mode. In Agile editing mode, the cell editors all, all are displayed. Before we start editing, we can navigate between cell using keyboard arrows. In this case, we cannot use up and down arrows because in insert mode we cannot select another record unless the record that we edit. Press enter to start editing. Press tab to move to the next cell. Press tab again. In date field, we can use up and down, combined with control and shift to select, to change day of the month, to change month, or to change year. In checkbox, we can use up and down rows to select value. This is lookup field. It will show suggestion list and it can also show lookup dialog press control space to forcibly display the suggestion list or control enter to display the lookup dialog in lookup dialog we can also do filtering press enter or double click to select a value. This is integer column. This is decimal column. We can add more new record, more new rows.
click save button in inserting mode we can delete the new record but we can we cannot delete the the last new record if we want to cancel the edition just click reload button let's try to edit some records in agile mode before we start editing we can navigate between cells using up down left and right arrows to start editing press enter to move to the below cell press enter again and we can directly edit the values that's where we call it agile editing to move to the next cell to the right cell press tab press tab again press escape to back to the navigation mode and revert back the value in navigation mode we can move between cells using keyboard arrows but in editing mode in agil mode we cannot move between, ce between cells unless by pressing tab or enter we can see here that the edited record version is increased by one the next feature is export to excel this is the export to excel result in the next step I will show you the another table FX control that we will use to edit record select a record and click edit button this is form control it has several input controls the control that marked with red star is required let's try to make them empty and press save button an exclamation mark will be shown and the validation error appears let's save again the email still has exclamation mark because the email is not valid let's edit again I want to show you the capabilities of lookup field if we enter if we enter a new value and directly move the focus if the value is not valid we the lookup dialog will be appear and we can directly select the valid record let's try again enter for example 10 but if we enter valid value tap the lookup dialog doesn't show if in the lookup dialog we doesn't select a record and directly close the dialog or pressing escape the lookup value is reverted back okay and this table is customizable this table is customizable as you can see here we have a new button and we doesn't see delete button here this is the custom button if we click it a message dialog is appeared
and we can also add menu item in the table context menu you can add more record if you want to test the speed of this library let's reload it now we have 10,000 more than 10,000 records we can still move between row fast enough let's try to display all of them now we only have one page and all records are displayed in this page okay that's it if you have any question please leave a comment and I will respond as fast as possible thank you